Okay, now let's animate some of our website. The reason that we would animate it is just to make it feel a little more interesting, to make the website a little more compelling, to make it more exciting to be there. Animations can also lead the user to, towards an action. Say you have a button that floats in or glides in or something like that. Animations can be great for a variety of reasons. So let's animate some of this website. But the first thing we're gonna animate is this button. Let's just have it sort of float in from the bottom. Like that, it looks good. So do you see what I did? You click an element and then you click the moving squares and this menu shows up. And now there's different animations. Now let's actually check out some of these animations so you can see what they all do. Bounce in, comes in fast. Glide in, glides in. Fade in, float in, expand in, turn in, fly in, spin in, arc in, puff in, fold in, flip in, reveal, slide in. Yeah. A bunch of different animations. So I pretty much only ever use float in, fade in, and glide in. In my opinion, a lot of these other ones look pretty corny. Like this, uh, this is just way too much, right? You don't want animation to take away from the message that you're trying to communicate to your user. So that's why I prefer more subtle animations like float in, fade in, or glide in. So let's do the float in and let's keep it uh, from the bottom. Once you select an animation, you can change the direction that the animation is coming from, depending on the animation. You can also select the duration, so how long it takes. So if we have like a three second float in, then watch how long this takes. Way too slow. So 1.2 is usually fine. And you can also delay the animation if you want to give people a little bit of time before this pops up. And then it's, it's nice to do only animate the first time too, so that these animations don't happen every time somebody comes to the website, that becomes kind of a lot. So we got floating for that one. Uh, let's leave that. Let's see, what else do we want to animate? Let's animate this as a group. So you can animate an entire group. We've so grouped these two text elements, this heading and this body. And so let's animate it and let's have it float in similar to the last one from the right. And we'll have the image float in from the left. Like that. Okay, now let's check out what we've got so far. So the button kind of floats in. We left these alone, and then the about floats in. I think what we can do with these strips is to have the elements inside of them grouped and then just fade in together. Okay. And the reason that I decided to put a fade on them is just to add a little bit of interest to the page as you scroll. Like that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go through and add some animation to the rest of the site. And then we will check out the entire site so far in the next video.